this How Astrology Works video is about the Moon conjunct Pluto tonight. It will happen in Raleigh at 9, um, excuse me, 11.33 at night. So right now I'm on the planetstoday.com site. And I've got the time set for 11.34 at night. And this is the longitude and latitude for Raleigh. So you can see the dot for Raleigh is faced away from the sun at 11.30 at night. And it's about lined up with the moon. So in the chart, we should see the moon on the midheaven. And now I'm going to shrink this solar system up for just a second so that you can see where Pluto is. So here is us on Raleigh. And we're facing toward Capricorn, the lowest, highest part in a daily revolution. There is Pluto, way, 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 way out there. So at 11.30 at night, we'll be facing toward that area of the solar system. Now I'm going to go ahead and expand things again so that we can concentrate mostly on a spot on Earth turning on its axis. Okay, so let me show you real quick a chart for 9.30 this morning. This is 9.30 in the morning in Raleigh. You can see the sun coming up. It's come up from the east, and it's going up to the middle of the sky. All right, I'm just showing that chart because when I did the post yesterday about the moon coming near Pluto, you would have seen all those planets, Saturn, the moon, and the Pluto, down here at the bottom of the chart for Raleigh at 9.30 in the morning. So I wanted to give the comparison chart today to show how far the moon has gone from where it was about here yesterday at 9.30 in the morning. It's the only planet that does move very much, the moon, from one day to the next. All right, now here is the chart for Raleigh. For No, excuse me. This is the chart for Honolulu at 5.30 tonight. Let's quick, to, quick click to one for... Raleigh. This is one for Raleigh, 10.30 tonight, excuse me, 11.30 tonight, and you can see the moon right next to Pluto, and the sun way down at the bottom there, because 11.30 at night, any place that has 11.30 at night, that means they should have the sun at the bottom of the chart. All right, now let's go to see, at that same time, 3.30 a.m. in uh, Greenwich, England, in Honolulu, it is 5.30 p.m. So for us, it is 11.30 p.m. In Honolulu, it's 5.30 p.m. And there's their moon in Pluto. Now I'm going to click to... That is San Francisco, California. For them, it's 8.30 p.m. And the moon and Pluto are coming up to the top. This, I think, is Memphis, Tennessee. There's Memphis, Tennessee, 10.33 p.m. And still, Moon and Pluto are toward the top. Sun's pretty close to the bottom. That's the Raleigh chart again. Now we're moving further east. We've gone to Clonakety, Ireland at 4.30 in the morning. So their sun is about to come up in the east. And there's the Moon and Pluto below the horizon. And this chart is for Bucharest, Romania. And it's 6.33 in the morning. And so you see Pluto and the moon over here in the fifth house. And the sun is in the first house for them when the moon is meeting Pluto. So the moon meets Pluto for them <coughs> in the fifth house. And then in Durgapur, India, it'll be 9.03 in the morning. And for them, the, ha the meeting will happen in their third house of communications. And this is a chart for Osaka, Japan. It will happen at 12.33 in the afternoon for them. And the Moon and Pluto will be in their second house of um, self-definition. All right. Um, I just really wanted to give... Uh, maybe that'll help people understand houses better. I just like to play with time around the world and get a feel for what time really is. So that's my little meditation on the moon meeting Pluto tonight. Thank you, Our Sky Astrology.